over with. Again, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight. This isn't working. Um, I need a, some way to keep track of which ones I've already counted. Um, do you have a sharpie, like a, a colored sharpie, or no? Okay. Um, well. Um, okay. Let's let's think for a bit. Um, your head is more or less symmetric. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Um, so that cuts down the amount of hair we have to count in half. But that's still quite a bit. So out of, out of curiosity, um, how accurate do you need this number to be? Like, are we doing plus or minus like a hundred, a thousand. Okay, yeah. Um, well, if that's the case, then I think we could get by with a way that slightly estimates it more. So, like if we if we measured like a small area of hair, and then if we knew the total amount of area that your head has hair, so like the surface area of your hair on your head, then we could figure out how much you have by extrapolating. Uh, do, do you by chance know the, the area of hair you... No? Okay, I, I didn't think so. Yeah, um, yeah, let's see, um, we're looking for a patch of hair that's, um, pretty average in size, uh, or average in density, I should say, uh, not too thick, not too thin, just, just about average, uh, right here seems like a good good spot. Um, do you have like a, a ruler or tape measure over here? This one's in inches. No, I, there's there's nothing wrong with inches. It's it's just inches are bigger than centimeters, so it's more counting. But how about we do half an inch? So half inch by half inch, quarter inch square. That doesn't seem nearly as bad. Um, let's see. I just need a measure out. So the hair out of the way. Okay. Are you sure about the Sharpie thing, right? Okay. Sure, whatever. Um, 
All right, uh, let's see. Got the patch. Let's get counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, I'm not pulling it, I'm not trying to pull it, I'm just, I need to keep them separate, so. Well, I'm sorry, it's a mild inconvenience for you. At least you don't have to go to someone's house and count their hair for an afternoon. Where was I? Okay, let's start over again. Uh, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna group them into groups of ten. So we only have to count the groups of ten instead of individual. One, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's one bundle, keeping that held in this hand. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's two, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many is that? What do you mean you weren't counting? Well, I mean, I'm busy. Counting the fucking pieces of hair, I thought you would be keeping track. Jesus Christ, okay, um... We need to find a different way to do this, um... What if instead of finding the average density of your hair, like, by, by count, what if we found the average density by weight, like if we... If we chopped off this square quarter inch again it's just half inch by half inch that's not a lot of hair if we cut it off and and weigh it and then figure out how much like 10 pieces of hair weighs we could figure out how many hairs there are in here just by the weight uh, i mean yeah but it's, it's only okay fine we don't have to do that but you're not making this easy. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess... Let's see. Uh, I mean, if we... If we took the hair in that area and then, like, pulled it tight so that it, it made, like, a a tube of hair, like a, like a bundle of hair, and then we measured the diameter, and then if we found out the diameter of like a single hair, then we could approximately figure out, you know, from the ratio of diameters, how many hairs are along the diameter 
then we can figure out how many hairs are in the area and then yeah i think i think that would work do you have calipers or something so i can measure thickness of your hair okay uh, well here let me just look it up real quick um thickness of human human hair okay but wait wait why don't we just look up how much hair is on the average human head you told me that you just need like plus or minus 50,000 or so god damn uh amount of hair on head all right about a hundred thousand like this is saying 90 to 150 depending on your hair color so you probably have about a hundred thousand great what a huge waste of time uh <sighs>